Wait. I know you. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman. And it's time to pay for your crimes. Nah. Well, your bounty is low. All right, get out of my sight. But you're known to me now, scum. Remember that. Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never could get the hang of that. Are you feeling sick? New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Only the best in all of Riften. I own Riften Fishery. Started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nor thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markar. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. If you're headed that way, I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. You'd be paid, of course. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara, but she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, and the threat of war is driving away business. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'd never sleep with anyone besides my good wife, Drifa. Hand what over. I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, it was one night, okay? I think she slipped something in my drink. I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Remember to give at the temple. Wait. I know you. Get in good with Brynjolf, then we'll talk. Stop. I won't go back to the function now. I won't! Must leave immediately. You need to leave.
You need to leave. Tidings. Wait, I know you. Wait, I know you. There is no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to go. Mm. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lady. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. Are you feeling sick? New around, Lipton? Take my advice. Stay at the Bee and Barb. The bunkhouse isn't for you. What? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look, we need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellin arts in Lifton, they'll run me out of town. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svana. I don't know why I bother. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. If you're looking for anything to sell for a fair price, I run the pawn fraud over by the market. They used to be pretty feared around here. I mean, you'd whisper the name. And it had sent chills down your spine. Now, they're nothing more than ruffians and thugs trying to pry a few extra coin from honest people. All it would take is a small force of guard to go into the ratway and flush them out. Mm -hmm. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like a skeever when you pulled him out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here. I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. Please help me. 
I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. Need something? Travel safe. It's a fine day. I really need your help. I don't want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Blackbriar Meadery, but in Darren and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. My job at the Rifton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. Are you feeling sick? Hey, good to see you again. If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods for Morrowind at one of it the sounds. It is our favorite company. Anything you can find would be a great help. Good luck. Come see yes, me yes, I haven't got all day. The finest Come back when you're ready to spend more. All of Skyrim. Yeah, this knows I could use. The boathouse isn't an inn. I'd recommend the Bee and Bar. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. The waiting, the insufferable waiting. You have questions? I understand. It's all in this note. Need... Something? I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. I'm not sure what it's made from, but I can tell you that once you've had a taste, you'll never crave anything else. The Dunmer came up with the stuff a long time ago. Very illegal and very hard to come by. I got mine off a merchant ship in solitude. Worst mistake I ever made. Look, I don't think I should say it. I mean, they could kill me. tell you. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. I overheard Boli say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. If it wasn't for Skuma, I'd already be on my way out of this horrible city. All my gold, completely gone. Now I have to start over. I'll never use Skuma again. Although I suppose a little mead now and then would be harmless. You've been kind. I thank you. Yes. You have no idea what it's like to have everything. Then watch it all disappear.
got to thinking, maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. If it's a bed you need, talk to Kirava in the BM bar. She'll set you right. <coughs> Ebony armor by Izmir is a wondrous sight. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Other Riften's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. The city guard has been tearing Riften apart looking for the source of our skooma problem. I'd hate to be in their shoes if they get discovered. Sibby Blackfriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Anything else you need? If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lady. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. feel I think you might be sick someone actually interested in what I'm doing amazing well allow me to explain my experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy the blue thing 
But even the simplest harmonic field is composed of entirely... Wait just a moment. The blue thing... Yes, yes, yes! I can see your point! Draw out the necessary energies using a Jarl apparatus. But wait. What about soul reversal? You must be aware of the consequences when using the apparatus near an open magic field. <clears throat> calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Winterhold. You want the college there. They teach quite a bit. Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer Spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum Ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh well. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Okay, now where did I put those spiders? Welcome to Riften, Traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarkis's presence in the warehouse. Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. Good journey to you. As Jarl Leila's housecarl, 
I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Jarl. I will not allow her to fall. Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Ratwee and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yarlela unprotected. I'm keeping my eye on you. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Only a mere 20 gold coins, and all this could be yours. Meats and produce, get them before they're gone. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little sickly. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll?
could have left it. I could have put it back. The thieves' guild used to run this city. Now there are nothing but braggarts and bullies rotting to death down in their rat way. Legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Staying safe, I hope. Don't miss out. Purchase a bottle alive. of my genuine Why farmer blood chance? elixir. Only 20 the septums each. In the highest quality in Skyrim. <laughs> Buying jewelry here. <laughs> Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. <sighs> what can I do for you? It's nice to receive good news for a change. Did you recover anything else from the warehouse worth mentioning? Then there's no time to lose. It won't take long for Sarthus's associates to learn of his death. The source of the poison must be destroyed once and for all. Otherwise, another dealer will simply take his place. Do this task for me? And you'll be well on your way to a title in Riften. Good. Report back to me when your task is complete. Good. Journey to you. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. I am at your command. Lead on. I know you. Take a look. I have to remember. Ward first. Huh? Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Protect yourself right. Buy armor from the relic.
myself purchase a bottle of my genuine bomb. Only 20 septums each. Good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore's Stone. Now, goodness knows Elgrim won't have to pay her to do it. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, it's disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyache could just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing, so he focuses a lot of attention on her. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. I am sworn to carry your burdens.
Lead on. Have you managed to make it out to shores? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could dangerous. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent. But I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony. The irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Nernroot is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last, we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. I've got your back. I am at your command.
Lead on. Have you managed to make it up? Take a look. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. You lead, I'll follow. Are you feeling sick? Aha, a fellow Nord. I trust you. If your allegiance. Ah, you're back. What have you discovered? Watch the skies, traveler. <laughs> 